here we have our protract scene. This is what it looks like. And now what I'm going to do is turn on background images and go to add image. I'm going to turn the opacity all the way up and this is the clip, so what it looks like. And now I would like to, to orient the scene a bit and kind of figure out where things are. So, and what I'm going to be doing here is select this. I know this is the building right here. So I'm going to start, make this larger, have a reference point. And this building in the background, I'm going to click one and size this up. So now I know this building is right here and this one is right here. I just need two reference points. I'm going to make a, a cube, scale the cube up. And uh, here we go. I'm gonna. This cube will represent this building. So I'm just shift D. Just gonna move this over here. Move it all the way back. Now this it should represent this building in the background right here. It doesn't need to be precise or anything because these won't actually be rendered. They're just reference points. I know that that these are are my two buildings. I know the the drone it's 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 looking up somewhat so I'm going to grab the entire scene it's not select the two buildings I'm going to move these out I'm going to select select hierarchy right here so I can have the camera and the tracking points oh one thing's important whenever you're rotating like these kind of things ensure it's rotating from the 3D cursor in the center of the scene I'm going to grab everything and I'm going to shift them up some more so it's just above the floor it's the preference thing it's not necessary if we move around the scene we can see the buildings are in place it's a fairly solid track i'm going to be adding a path to the scene that we can use to animate our object then i'm going to be creating another object let's go with let's go with the uv sphere just flatten it this is a this is an, an alien spaceship why not and I'm gonna grab it I'm just gonna put it at the start a curve right here select the path select this and control P I'm gonna do follow path parent so now from frame one it's gonna be on screen oh wow that's that's a, that's a pretty drastic um, animation kind of looks like crap but for the sake of the tutorial, I think it works. These buildings right here, these are just for references. So I'm gonna add them to their, their own collection actually. So I call that ref and I'm gonna turn it off so it doesn't render. Let's jump into the render mode. What I'm gonna do is add a, a sunlight. The lighting is gonna be trash. And I'm gonna turn on under film, turn on transparent so I can see the background. For the light, I'm just gonna make it that color. Why not crank up the brightness? It's a little bit too soft. There we go. I'm gonna duplicate the light and give it a quick rotation. Now I'm just gonna add a quick material to our saucer. Let's make it black. All right, that works. That works for me. I'm gonna do a quick render and then I'll jump over to Resolve. For my render settings, I'm doing nothing special. I'm rendering this as PNGs. Okay, our render is now finished and here we are in resolve I'm gonna quickly browse for everything gonna, let's go to the media page dragging our single png here that way we got the whole sequence put that down here and we know everything else is still under video so video and under sequence i have the alien right here just drag that in and on the edit page i'm gonna quickly just create a new timeline that's our timeline right here. You can drag everything in and create a fusion clip like that. And then if you jump in fusion, you'll have the two clips already merged. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm gonna delete that one. I'm gonna create a fusion composition here. I drag that in. And now I'm gonna just jump to fusion. Here we got our media out. Put it in the viewer one and two. Got the media pool gonna drag in our footage, let's call it footage, and drag in our alien, let's call it alien to the output. We got our merge. Now let's, let's connect our merge to the media out. We got our alien in the foreground here. We scrub through the animation, we can see our alien passing the building and then passing over it again. Alright. 
So I'm going to turn off the controls on this side. That way I can use it as my, my viewer to just look at it. And here on the right, we have the controls. In the video that I made, I did something kind of crazy where I du duplicated the footage and I had Mocha do some masking and then I put that above the original footage. That is completely not necessary. Since I don't have Mocha on this system, I'm going to be showing how it can be done otherwise. It's a little more manual, but the, the concept is still the same. If you get this, then even with Mocha, that makes things easier. You should get it even better, if that makes sense. I'm going to be creating a polygon mask and I'm going to be adding it um, to the merge right here because the mask is going to affect anything that's in the foreground, which in this case, the foreground is the alien. Right? So I should select the mask. We got to create the mask first. Move this around. You can see that it, it's masking out the alien, right? We can select invert at any time as well. Let's delete this one in the new mask. And you can see here that the alien is passing behind it at around frame 66. And it completes the passing at around frame 92. So we know that this is the region that we're going to be animating the mask. So let's go to frame 66 and make a quick mask of the building. And we know the alien, it's passing below the light right here. And it's passing um, above the light right here. So we can put place down first one above this light and the second one below this light. Put it on this side of the building and up here and then back over here. Future me here. What I'm doing at this point is pretty much just animating the mask. This part was a little bit long and drawn out, so I decided not to keep everything in the video because it's going to be different on a case-by-case -case basis. Let's attach it here. You can see that it's not doing what we want, so we're going to click Invert. All right, and we can see at frame 66, our alien is passing the building. Here I'm explaining how you can use a soft edge to kind of feather the edge a little bit. That way it blends a bit more seamlessly. At this point, all you're doing is just going through and animating the mask, ensuring that the alien ship is not clipping into the building or there's no space between the ship and the building. This whole thing looking the way it should. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty okay with that. Now let's go back to the start of the animation. You'll see where we have an, a problem right here. So the alien, when it's passing the building at the first point, it's not looking the way that it should. We could actually turn the solid off and it shows it go here it's all solid shows in front then once it gets here and it's gonna pass we don't want it to pass in front again so we can hit a keyframe for solid right here go one frame forward and do that so now it's solid is gonna be off and then right here solid is on and it's passing behind the building and the animation ends. So that's what we're doing with the polygon. You can now do stuff like color correct. From this point on, you simply need to mesh your shots with color correction. In this tutorial, I'm not doing that. I'm just slapping some colors on, I'm not checking black levels or anything. Once you're done, you can jump to the color page you can finalize all your colors, make things look the way that you want. Crank the saturation all the way up. Why not? This is, this is our world. That's that's pretty much the, the, the process of, of doing this. If you're using Mocha or something else that, ma that makes tracking or masking a lot easier, then you wouldn't have to go through the whole manual process that I just did. That should give you the, the, the gist of things. I, I'm not gonna, I don't, for this tutorial, since you were asking about the masking, I wasn't gonna go in and add shadow catchers and get the reflections on the building and all that stuff. I'll save that for a full tutorial, but this is just to show you how I did the, the building passing thing, since that's what you were you were asking about mainly. So it looks pretty, yeah, it looks, it looks passable. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.